This video will illustrate some of the technical methods used to create a video using iMovie 11, combining still images, music, and narration. Hi, I'm Justin. Let's take a look at how to manipulate sound in iMovie. There are two ways a sound in iMovie works. You can attach sounds to video clips, or you can add in a background music track. Adding background music is easier. You simply go to the Music tab, find the track you wish to use, and drag it to the project timeline, but not onto any specific video clip. For background music, you want the rounded rectangle to surround the entire chain of video clips. This sound will now run below the entire video. When you add narration, it works a bit differently. If you have a USB microphone connected to your computer, you can record a voiceover by clicking the microphone button and reading your script. It will usually take a few tries to get it right. Keep your different versions so you can keep the best parts from each as you edit later. One note, don't just use the built-in microphone on your laptop if you want good audio quality. And good video needs good audio quality. I use an external microphone and recorder to make a separate MP3 file I then import into iMovie. Once you have a complete reading of your script, it's time to edit. You want to make sure your words line up with the images, but if you have one long voiceover recording, that makes it very tricky to line things up precisely. Select the audio track, so its edges turn yellow, then move the red line, the playhead, to the gap between clauses or sentences. Then, right-click the selected track and select Split Clip. Keep doing this as you go through your voiceover so you have piles of little clips to work with. If you have multiple versions of different lines, then you can select the one you think sounds better and delete the rest. Once you have your clips, you can reposition them so they fit perfectly. Make sure you leave some pauses so people have time to think. You might also want to change the length of some of your visuals now that you have sound to match up with them. This takes a lot of trial and error, but it'll be worth it. The last thing to mention is how to make sure your narration isn't drowned out by your background music. Click the little gear icon on the voiceover clip and select Audio Adjustments. Then check the box that says Ducking. That will reduce the volume of the background music while the voiceover plays, but allows it to be louder when you have longer pauses, like so. Eventually she made her way out to sea and adventure. That's my final behind-the-scenes video on how I made my Dust of 100 Dogs book trailer. I hope they've been useful. Thank you very much.